Hey, Dennis here. I want to welcome you back to the channel. And uh, today I'm out um, at one of the uh, Southwest Michigan Land Conservancy's uh, properties. And actually it's, it's where they headquarter out of. It's got just awesome savanna views and some really nice, uh, some really nice prairies and uh, some pine trees. And um, there's just a lot here to see. I just love this place. And um, Oh, you saw my cup. <laughs> I just want to thank my daughter, Alexa. She made this for me and uh, I, I just really, I really appreciate it. She's such a sweetheart. Anyway, um, I'll show you, uh, show you what I've got uh, here. And let me put my cup down. <clears throat> Some nice warm coffee in there. So it's about, uh, uh, it was about 15 degrees uh, maybe when I got out of the car. So. I'm guessing it's somewhere around the same. I think it might get up to 18, um, but you don't have to worry about me. I'm really layered up, and right now from the walk out here, I'm actually sweating, so that'll be cold here pretty soon. But anyway, I'm looking kind of off in this direction, and um, I really like these uh, trees that are just in the middle that are kind of holding their, holding their leaves. And then we have two, kind of two layers of uh, tree lines beyond that which will be really nice and even though that far line is is um, pretty much all pines uh, the one on the right is really nice it's just some really beautiful uh, grays in there and so this is the uh, scene I'm going to paint I may cut a little bit into this uh, this field to show uh, maybe a little path that doesn't exist that looks maybe more like this one that does exist but I'll see. Uh, I'll see how that goes, and I'll get a sketch going, and uh, we'll get something something uh, painted here. All right, cool. One of the things that I'm trying to do here in the early stages of the uh, painting is uh, get the canvas covered uh, as quickly as possible and I'm sort of going for a mid-tone all the way through. Um, obviously the sky is is uh, being reflected off of the snow and um, so you can see that I've kind of taken some of the sim similar colors from the sky and brought them down. I wanted this forward tree line to uh, be darker than uh, it actually shows uh, slightly back I wanted it to be slightly backlit so um, and one way to help that was I actually put a uh, an evergreen on the corner there instead of a uh, uh, deciduous tree so <laughs> can see I've already uh, put in the um, kind of the orangish brown trees um, those are mixed with a combination of transparent uh, red oxide and um, I used a little bit of cadmium orange on the mixed with that on the right hand tree and I used a little bit of Indian yellow 
mix with it as well. And for the darker ones, um, I just added just a touch of ultramarine blue. <laughs> Hey, so this painting came together actually pretty nice. Um, uh, no, no struggles here. Uh, it just goes to show that uh, when you're inspired by something, you paint it a lot better than when you're not. So, and this one really, uh, really inspired me. I mean, this meadow. Uh, I think, come to think of it, I think every time I've been to this location uh, to paint, I tend to. This is this meadow is like a magnet to me, so I always end up here. But uh, I'll show you where I'm at right now. Um, basically, uh, I'm at that point where I've got some uh, some major tree trunks to put in. Uh, maybe just a touch of definition in the very background. Uh, maybe a little bit of work on the sky, and then I've just got to lay the snow and some of the other textures that are in this uh, in this foreground. Um, but uh, I'll get going on that, and then we'll see if we can uh, wrap this one up. At this stage of the painting, I'm actually starting to um, just go in and add the uh, extreme highlights on the snow, and that's really going to um, start to separate this ground uh, from the snow. And you can see the lights kind of coming from the left, so I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, uh, blue uh, shadow color on the left side of the pathway, and then the brighter, uh, almost almost pure but with just a touch just a, like a pinprick of uh, Indian yellow um, to sort of warm up the snow that's on the right hand side and you can see now I've got the value of the sky um, about where it belongs and there th throughout the day there were a couple of uh, holes that opened up and I was able to see the the blue sky in behind there so so I've added that as well <laughs> One of the things that I wanted to mention here is to get the snow to sit down in the uh, field like it's supposed to. Um, you can see that I've taken um, and kind of pulled the grass where it's uh, in front of the, the snow. I've kind of pulled it up and um, what that does by creating kind of some of those vertical strokes in there is it really uh, helps that snow to sit down and in. Uh, where it belongs there. So those are the final touches um, and uh, it's not too bad. I like it. All right, so that's it for me today. And uh, as always, I want to say thank you for uh, checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. If you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do that. And uh, I will uh, catch you later.